Good afternoon and welcome back to the Good Plates Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to spatchcotch and or butterfly a chicken. Now you can do this with any kind of bird. You can do it with a turkey, which is a really great idea to use it for a turkey. You could do it for a turkey. You could do it for a duck. You could do it for a goose. You could do it for a pigeon. Any, any bird is fine. Okay, now I'm going to put on gloves because I'm, I'm just like that. Okay, now... What do you need to do this? Well, I have a pair of poultry shears, and these are great because I'm just could snap and that's it. Um, you can use regular shears, it's a little strong. You could use a knife, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to, we're gonna blot our little friend here. I know you're tempted to put this chicken in the sink and clean it that way, don't do that. The reason you don't want to do that is because bacteria that's on the chicken will splash, even though you can't see it, it's going to splash all over your kitchen and all over your other food, so you don't want to do that. So what you want to do is just blot your little front. I'm going to two pieces of paper. Okay, all nicely blotted, and we'll get the back also. Okay, now... I want to show you, this is the, what my aunt used to call the Pope's nose. It's the tailbone. And here, of course, is the neck. Now, you probably have a neck that's in there, and we do, so I think, no, okay, let's see. Okay, so here we go. Now, the thing that gets me, the reason why I want to show you this is because I have been to the market and seen, so you can hear it, crunch, crunch, crunch. Really simple. There we go. You see? Okay, and there's the giblets. I'm gonna take that other piece of the piece out. Now, if you go to the mart, if you go to the store, you can buy a chicken that's been spatchcocked, and it's gonna cost you quite a lot of money. And as you can see, you can do this for yourself for free. What do you do with this? You save it. You save it for stock. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to save this for stock. Save that for stock. And I'm going to take out the gizzards. This is the liver and the gizzard. No heart? Ooh, sad. No heart. Okay, that's going to go to the animals. Okay, so we have this. And now, okay. And I like to take the wings. See how you take the wing and fold it under? Just, you know, to look nice. Okay, cooks better that way too. Now, you really want to make this as flat as possible. So you want to press down on the breast with your hand like that. Make it nice and flat. The flatter something is, the more even it is, the faster, the better and more evenly it cooks. So when it cooks evenly, it doesn't dry out. Now, the next thing we're going to do, get rid of this. I have already a pan that I've already put oil in, and I'm going to take some aromatic vegetables. This is celery, onions, stuff like that. And I'm going to put that at the bottom of the pan. If 
also got some apple in there too. And with that, our my little friend is ready to go. Now, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to, I have made some compound butter. You may have seen the video. This is compound butter and I'm going to take the compound butter and I'm going to put it And that other trick is to inject with a, with a liquid. Now this liquid happens to be broth and melted butter and white wine. And believe me, this makes really, really good. Uh, needles. So try to get one that has a screw like this. Makes it much easier. I'll just screw it in like that. There we go. Put the plunger in like that. Screw it in. There's links to this um, tool in the description. Okay. And then we're going to take our liquid. And we're going to slurp, we're going to stir it a little bit, and we're going to slurp it up. Okay. And then start jabbing and make sure when you put it in that you are really getting it into, into the flesh. And that's going to be it for now. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with some Northwoods, Pensy's Northwoods. This is really great on chicken. So here we go. Okay, and now I'm back. I'm going to cover this with foil. And that will keep it from drying out. And I will remove the foil in the last half hour of cooking so that it can brown nicely. And now we're going to put it in a 350 oven and through the magic of YouTube, It'll get cooked. See you later. Okay, we're going to take, welcome back to the good plate. We're going to take our little friend's temperature here and I have an instant read thermometer. Please use an instant read thermometer. Don't use that little thing that pops up because it's like, it doesn't do any good. And we're going to stick it into the thickest part of the thigh. Let's see, good angle so you can see. No, no. hot. Okay, there we go. And and it is 149. That's perfect. It needs to get up to 165. At 149, that's perfect. We're going to put it back in the oven with the top off, with the foil off, so that it can brown. Okay. And here's our lovely girl after she came out of the oven. Here she is carved on a platter. We enjoyed having her for dinner with stuffing and broccoli. We'll see you next time on The Good Plate. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you all. See you next time.